A win for Indian cricket tonight with controversial umpire Steve Bucknell sacked for the third test. His axing comes amid revelations Harbhajan Singh's appeal over a racial abuse charge may not get underway until after next week's match in Perth. Heath O'Loughlin has those developments. With tensions reaching breaking point, the International Cricket Council finally stepped in, sacking umpire Steve Buckner from the third test. What we're seeking to do here is to take some tension out of the situation. Steve's continued presence had become an issue. Uh, Steve accepts that uh, in order for us to move forward, this is the best course. Billy Bowden is his replacement, but while that move has taken place, it may be some time before Harbhajan Singh's appeal over a racism charge is heard. I simply don't know whether it will be able to happen before that test match, before the next test match. I, I don't know when it will be, other than that it will be as soon as possible. In the meantime, he's allowed to play, providing India doesn't cancel the tour. In similar scenes to yesterday, the Indians left their Sydney hotel and boarded a bus. The only difference this time, they actually departed. But it was just a short trip to Bondi for a breath of fresh air and some beach volleyball with local lifesavers. However, there was no escaping the spotlight with the media hot on their tail. Even if the appeal is successful, do you still have to get an apology from the Australian no, I, I think it's a little early to come in. No, it's not a question of anyone's apology or anything. It's not something due to that regard. It's been reported master batsman Sachin Tendulkar may have instigated the standoff after writing a text message to the Board of Control for Cricket in India Chief Sharad Pawar saying Harbhajan is innocent. And I can assure you on this, in this hour of crisis, the Board should stand by him. I suggest we play in Perth only if the ban is lifted. Emotions have escalated in India. First fans burned effigies of the umpires. Now photos of Ricky Ponting have been set alight. The two umpires did not hear it. The match referee went on record and said that the two umpires heard nothing. And then he did a U-turn. He turned and changed colour like a chameleon. Who's responsible for that? And why should you believe Ricky Ponting? Why should you not believe Sachin Tendulkar? Those are questions that beg to be answered. Ponting has also come under fire back home with some suggesting he should be sacked. But others believe that's an overreaction. I think that's absolute nonsense. And I think he's done an outstanding job for Australia. And his teammates are well and truly behind him. Ricky Ponting's got the full support of everyone in our team and probably every cricketer around Australia. Heath O'Loughlin, National. As you saw earlier, umpire Steve Bucknor has been dropped from the third test against India after his poor showing in Sydney. And weighing into the controversy, commentator Tony Gregg, who believes the best way out of the current mess is to encourage players to walk rather than wait for a decision. Clinton Fletcher reports. The trouble started from day one, when on 30 Andrew Simons was given not out. Players argue you take the good with the bad. But Tony Gregg says they should take ownership of the game and be more honest. This is a great game, they all love it. We should be trying to help uh, and go to the next stage. And the next stage for me is without doubt the Adam Gilchrist philosophy. And that is that, you know, if you're out, you're out. Greg says the Indians have every right to feel cheated of at least a draw. In the Aussie second innings, Hussey edged the ball on 45. Big noise. Oh dear, oh dear. But Hussey stood his ground and eventually made 145 not out. Greg says it's not often players are unsure if they've nicked the ball. Very, very seldom. 99.99%, you know. When Dravid was given out without touching the ball on the final day, that was it for India. Too many decisions had gone against them. Clinton Fletcher, National 9 News.